my channel today's tutorial is on how to cut a cow neck okay and so what you are going to do is i have my pattern paper here now the style that i'm going to sew also the style falls on the down top you get so it's not a fitting style it's a bit loose okay so i have this pattern paper here the length that i am using i need a length of 32 but what i have here is 30 okay and then the width as i said it's not a fitting dress so i have hip measurement divided into four plus um some inches so the hip is 46 divided into four is going to be 11.5 11.5 then I have one two inches three and a half so I have three and a half on it you get it mm -hmm. so I'll just use I have three and a half added I'll use one inch um for sewing allowance or one and a half for sewing allowance and the rest will be for ease and that will be okay okay and so what I have here is shoulder to bust shoulder to bust and this is shoulder to waist and then when we come here is shoulder to hip and i also have my armhole so you measure your back measurement divided into two 16 divided into two is going to be eight so this is eight then i made the armhole line and then the care for front armhole and then back armhole you get i have not done the neck width yet so i'm going to do my neck width i'm using a neck width of four inches yes four inches okay so i'm going to do my shoulder slant from the armhole to the neck with here okay but i'm not going to cut the neck depth now i'm going to cut the space okay now at the waistline here even though it's a free dress I'm going to come here, the waistline here, um, like one inch. Mm -hmm. Instead of one inch, I'm going to make it one and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. So, so my arm, when I come to the front arm, I need 10 inches. So I have 10 here. Then we'll hold the upper part half inch. So 10 and a half. And because it's a free dress, I'm going to have one, two, three here. Okay, so three inches are dead. Okay, so I'll end up at 14, which is okay because this is not a tight dress. So I'm going to come in here. And then I'm going to go to the hip line something like this i'm coming down here yes okay so this is it so so you can choose to make it straight this way without coming in at the waistline because as i said it's a free dress or you can just come in a bit it will not spoil anything okay so we are going to cut from here cut the back arm hole and then we'll follow the line. What I'm going to do now is to place this on my fabric and cut for the back. Okay, so I have my pattern on my fabric. The fabric that I'm using is Lycra. With this kind of style, you need a stretchy fabric or a very soft, relaxing fabric. Mm -hmm. also added my two inches extra two inches here because i said i needed the length to be 32 do you get it mm -hmm. this is my hip line and i've added extra seven inches to it and that seven inches is what is going to fold on top and so if you like you can add eight or more depending on how much you want it to fold on on top do you get it mm -hmm. and so that's what i have here so we are going to cut this out So this 
this is it for the back do you get it okay so i'll take so i'll take my pattern off so i'm going to put it aside and then we'll concentrate on the front pattern so for the front part what you are going to do is we are going to slash this okay but we are not going to slash it off we are going to slash it to up to half inch or a quarter inch like an half inch here mm -hmm. so this is my bust line that we are going to slash off you can decide to come up or go down do you get it mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take off the front armhole. So after slashing it, let me go a bit off so that I can spread it very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's about a quarter inch mm -hmm. so that you can spread it well. So after slashing it, you can decide to place it on another part and pepper. Spread it, mark everything out, cut it before you what you will place it on your fabric. But I'm going to place it on the fabric straight away. Okay. Before we do our spread, I'm going to make it straight, take the shape out, just as we did for the back one. So I'm going to mark it this way. Okay. The next I'm going to do is, you see, I did a slashing at exactly on my bust point. So I've decided to go up one inch. I've decided to go up one inch. From the shoulder to the bust is 12. I've decided to go up one inch. And do the slash in there so I am going to um, solid tape that area you can have it exactly at your bus point I am going to spread it make it like um nine inches you can use 10 inches or more than that so you see the space here i have nine inches and that is okay for me you can go a bit more okay so when you are doing it be careful i ended up tearing this part okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw this out so i'm going to come here this way and it's going to end in the line okay but if you are considering the shape then you are going to go this way you get it so the line is here i hope you can see so this is where the line is here so it's going to end here. I'm going to place my ruler there to get it well. Do you get it? Okay. Then this, I'm going to mark it straight. And I'm going to... This is where the neck width ends and so we are going to cut it this way and straight okay and i'm going to notch this part also
piece out. You see? So this is it. So we are going to join the shoulder here to the back. And then this is it here also to the back. Okay, so this is it. So what I'm going to do is, you know, we didn't do the back neck dip. So I'm going to get the back neck dip now. So I'm going to use three inches for it. You can decide to use one inch, two inches or one and a half. But I'm using three inches for the back neck depth. This is our four inches width. Okay guys so this is for the down part now the down part what i have here is what i have here is 27 plus folding at the down there now what i actually need is my knee and take the measurement from your lower waist not your upper waist your lower waist to your knee mine is around from my lower waist to my knee it's around 19 it's around 18 and 19 but i going to use the length of 25 because this is a stretchy fabric and so if you cut it exactly at this point and then maybe you add your folding you realize that when you wear it will be pulling up and you have to struggle yourself to pull it down here and there so i added extra and so at the end of the day i'm going to have like 25 inches length okay and what I have here is 27. So the two inches you are going to use it to fold it inside. Okay, so the width is my hip divided into four, which is 11.5. Then I added one and a half inch to it. So, and that makes it 13 inches. So what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to measure my hip and I'm going to do it seven. Bear in mind that I said I took the length for my lower waist. If you don't know how to measure your lower waist, I'm going to leave a, a link to how to take body measurements and you will know where your lower waist is. And so I'm going to take um, two inches from it. If it's from the upper waist, like it's going to be like nine inches from waist to hip, but I'm going to make it seven inches. Yes, seven inches. Seven inches. Okay. And... So seven inches here, I'm going to come down here. This is um, pencil. And so the actual width of the hip is 11.5, okay? And so 11.5, I'm going to take two inches from the 11.5 and that is going to be 9.5, but I am going to measure, instead of 9.5, I'm going to measure exactly nine. Do you get it, nine? But because I'm going to sew, I'll have an allowance of one inch. And so I'm going to make it 10. So 10 here. Do you get it? Okay. And so I'm going to join from this point here. Eh, from the hip point here. Straight to the 10 inches. Straight to the 10 inches here. And one thing you also have to know that because this is a stretchy fabric, you can decide that instead of um, the adding one and a half, you can just add only one inch to it. Do you get it? You can just add only one inch. So 11.5 plus one is going to be 12.5. Yes, so I'm going to come here and then I'll do it here. okay and then i'm going to have it straight here and so we are not going to measure anything like um waist measurement you know because we are going to add elastic band to it so the elastic band will take care of the excess <coughs>
this one no need for zip allowance everything is together front and back what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut my facing for the front parts mm -hmm. i'm going to cut my facing so i folded my fabric into two and i'm going to cut this cut this Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this the what I have here here this way. Mm -hmm. So let me see what I have here. Okay, so this is okay compared to the first one. Mm -hmm. I don't want it too bulky. <coughs> I'm going to also reduce the back to I'm going to take some from the back also for the back neck what I'll do is you can either decide to cut facing for it or use bias for it or you just go this way maybe one and two and then so on so but i'm going to use bias for it okay so the neck area for the back with bias and i'm going to join the face into the front one also then the down part here what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold two inches here and then so on top there's no need folding it double like this no i'll just fold it once and so on top okay okay guys so here is it i'm done joining the face into it so here is it and this is the back one see this is the back one. so i'm going to join it to each other okay so this is the front part of the uh, this is the correct side of the front one so the back one too is here and so what i'm going to do is you see I did the I joined it to where the shoulder stops mm -hmm, so that I can easily join this also to it you see like this so so I'm going to sew it this way so I'll sew it this way you see mm -hmm, this way and then attach this on top like this you see and then sew it together and then turn it so i'll do the same thing for the other side okay and this is the down part i'm going to join the down part to the upper parts of it okay so realize that the upper part is wider compared to the down part so as i said you can either decide to trim it for it to be equal with the down part or you can pleat it pleat it this way so you just have to consider where your dart line is this you don't really need to have to do any serious measurement do you get it okay so then we'll come here also You see then the excess you have what you have to do is just pleat it a little this way then you come here you pleat another one so you can do it this way and everything will be okay or better still you can decide to trim it for it to be trim the excess so i'm going to join it this way and then join the other one also i might either trim it 
for it to be equal okay so that's it so i will join it and then we'll continue okay hey guys so i am done with it yes i am done so this is the neck area you see mm -hmm. this is the neck area you see okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my measurement on it okay so the hip side here is that is 46 so making 23 but i'm going to make it 22 one two so 22 i'll have like one two three so i'll leave one enough on each side because it's a stretchy fabric that is why i am reducing one inch from my actual hip measurement okay then i'll come to the down part here we are going to make it nine yeah, yeah sorry nine plus nine is going to be 18 so i have one two and half so let's say one and quarter we can go like one and a half it will be okay this is a stretchy fabric so no need to fear and so what we have here is some um, 17.5 you see when you stretch so it's okay so i'm going to join it okay and then this side also i'm going to do it the same way no opening at the back yes no slit open so don't do it too tight at the down here so that you can easily move your legs without trying to without stress okay so i'm going to from what i have here straight that is how it's going to be so i measure one and a half i'm going to measure one and a half on each side straight like that okay okay so i have my elastic band here and the next thing you're going to do is to place the elastic band this is what i usually do i'll open up this way and then place this in between be sewing on top in the middle and while i'm sewing i'll be pulling i'll be pulling i'll be pulling till i am done sewing everything so after the next thing you do is you attach it to it you join it together and sew on the marked line do you get it mm -hmm. so i'll do that and come and show it to you okay guys so here is it i'm done now i did some changes i gave the shoulder one shoulder zip because i realized that if i don't give it a zip it will be difficult for me to wear yes yeah, so i gave one shoulder a zip you see mm -hmm. so just a secret zip for that and also unfortunately i couldn't capture the sleeve side i gave it this sleeve a long sleeve i use shibon for it so this is just a normal long sleeve and instead of um shaping the wrist i rather decided to pleat it and give it uh, a band do you get it and so i made the sleeve a bit longer plus the band so that it will fold on top a bit when i wear it do you get it so this is how i made it so this is it for today's tutorial thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video bye bye